all these things and if you don't remember what will you do then you will be singing what will you be singing hawa mein udta jaye mera fial aur mera fail ho ji ho ji all these will fly over you huh? the fail will fly the fial will fly okay ready hawa mein udta jaye mera fial aur mera fail ho ji ho ji इधर उधर लहराए मेरा मुदाफ मुदाफ ले ही इधर उधर लहराए मेरा मुदाफ और मुदाफ ले ही हो जी हो जी दिस यू विल बी सिंगिंग दैन बट वी डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू सिंग दिस ब्रदर इन शह जजा को मिलाओ अलहमदिल्लाबीन वालाजमाइन اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي ربي زدني علما اجمعين ان شاء الله ما لا سبحانه وتعالى انكريز ان اول اوف اس نوليدج السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته عرف جار माशाला we are only learning up to 10 okay and then in book 2 in the beginning we will learn from 11 to 19 and then at the end of book 2 we have lesson number 24 i believe 
in which all the numbers are given. But because numbers uh, are something that one has to use it all the time to get familiar with it, you know. So if you do not get it right away, don't worry. Just don't worry. It will come to you slowly, slowly. You know, <coughs> we are here from different countries. This is very funny. We are here from different countries. We speak so many languages. Even I can speak uh, Gujarati, Kachi, and Urdu little, you know, and English, of course, we all went to school. So, sometimes I can speak to someone in Gujarati. And especially people from South Africa, they can speak both Gujarati and Kachi. And even from East Africa, they can speak those two languages because they went from India, from these provinces, to settle in uh, <coughs> Africa. So I have this brother, a very wonderful brother. He speaks to me in Gujarati. But when I count in Gujarati, he said, don't count. Because I don't understand numbers in Gujarati. No, he speaks Gujarati. But when it comes to numbers, he's totally lost. So then, you know, uh, I, I then start counting in English. So I was, you know, thinking about this. I said, he can speak the language, but he cannot count in the language. That's very strange, you know. But I guess it's a practice. If we don't have enough practice, sometimes we don't uh, understand the counting. So here also, brothers and sisters, we are learning the counting. Inshallah, you will understand. But if you sometimes are slow in understanding this concept, it shouldn't worry you. By reading more often, whole thing will, inshallah, come to you. And if you happen to go to Middle East, brothers and sisters, and if you hear it around you, you'll pick it up very fast, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I have divided the numbers in these groups, you know, for us to understand. Group number one is one and two. I have put them in a separate group because the numbers behave differently in one and two. Then three to ten, this is another group. Hmm? And then eleven to nineteen, which we will study in book two, in the early part of book two. And then from twenty to ninety-nine, that's another group. And then from hundred and up, that is a separate group. So there are minor changes taking place uh, when we start counting from 3 to 10, from 11 to 19, from 20 to 99, there are some changes taking place from 100 and up. And we will note them, we will observe them, inshallah. What about 1 and 2? But that these two numbers are always adjectives. They are not. Huh? Always not. That is why I wrote them in red. Kalamun Vahidun. One pen. So here, Kalamun is Manaut and Vahidun is Tanat. Huh? The same way Kalamani is Nani. Two pens. But remember, brother and sisters, if nani, that hamza is hamzatul wasal. Huh? We have to remember that. So you will say kalamanis nani, kalamanis nani. But for emphasis, sometimes we say kalamani. Then you pause and you say if nani. It's okay, brothers and sisters. Sometimes you will only say kalamani, and that gives you the idea of two. But in order to emphasize more, then we say. Isnani. But if you did not use this nani, still the kalamani conveys the idea that it is two. Okay, brother. And then we come to number three to ten. This is the main part of our study. Huh? Because here the numbers undergo major change, brother and sister. In English also you'll say three pens, four books. Five chairs. You are using plural. Remember? Three pens. Four 
books. Still, the books and pens and chairs and students, we are using them as a plural. Same thing comes here. Okay? But if you see the construction of the sentence, if you see it, okay, we observe that this construction looks very familiar. Huh? This construction looks like it is mudaf and mudaf ilahi. And that is correct. The construction is mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Because I can see kasra, which means mudaf ilahi is majroor. And it is majroor. Mudaf ilahi is always majroor. And it is majroor. And we have here thalasatu. Are you with me? Salasatu, there is no al, there is no tanmin, because mudaf does not have al and tanmin. Okay? And then we have single dhamma. Now this single dhamma can be single fata and it can be single kasra, depending on the use of the noun in the sentence. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, salasatu kutubin. What do you say? Salasatu Kutubin. Literally, if I translate, three of books. See, I am using of just to emphasize mudaf mudaf ilahi. Then I say four of pens. Four of pens. Mudaf mudaf ilahi. And I say five of students. But we don't use of. We say three books, four pens, Five students. But the construction is of mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Sahi. Now, what would you call this? The mudaf is called al-adadu. Because it is the number. Huh? Okay. And then what is the mudaf ilahi? It's a noun. Huh? And what is this called? Ma'adud. Are you with me? Ma'adud. It is called? Ma'adud. Ma'adud. It is called Ma'adud. Huh? Means things counted. Huh? Okay? And even if you say three books, three is the number, and books is the noun which is being counted. Three books is the thing which is being counted. Huh? If I say Four pens, the pens is what we are counting, you know, thing which is being counted. Okay, so we will remember this part, adad and madud. Huh? Adad is number, madud is the thing counted. Huh? Because this will help us later on in understanding a little bit deeper, inshallah. So this is it, brother. Okay, from 3 to 10, it is in the construction of mudaf and mudaf ilay. The number is mudaf and the thing counted is mudaf ilay. But thing counted comes in plural. It comes in plural. As you can see, kutubin, aklamin, tulabin. These are all plurals. Now, very important thing to note is that when the thing counted, when the thing counted is mudakkar, the number gets ta marbuta, becomes feminine. Are you with me? Do you see? When the thing counted is mudakkar, then the number got ta marbuta. It became monas. So this is what we have to keep it in mind. Whenever the thing counted will be mudakkar, the number will change into monas. And it will be vice versa. If the thing counted is monas, the number will become mudakkar. Just to give you an example that is coming in the next lesson, we say khamsatu tullabin. Now I want to count female students. 
So what is the plural of female students? Talibatun. What is it? Talibatun. But I will make it mudafilihi. It will become talibatin. Mudafilihi. Okay. So I will write down here. Khamsu Talibatin. Here I had Khamsatu. And here Khamsu. Why? Because the Mahdud is Mu'annas. So the number will become Muzakkar. Are you with me? In the beginning, it may seem like a little complicated, but we get used to it, inshallah. Are you with me, Sister Salma? Huh? So, see, again, I admire Dr. Abdurrahim because in this lesson, it's only Muzakkar. If the both were mixed together, brother, then the lesson can become very difficult to absorb. So, like lesson number 19 is all Muzakkar. Lesson number 20, Monas will come. So, inshallah, we will get a good practice. And inshallah, inshallah, brother, on Thursday, we will finish book one. We'll finish. And next Monday, we will start book two, inshallah. Okay? Now, in order to count one to ten, we have these numbers to bear in mind. And as you can see, the numbers are in one, especially from three to ten. Well, why are in one? Because we are assuming the thing counted is Muzakkar. What is it? We are assuming the thing which are going to count is Muzakkar. So that is why it is Mu'annas. And because there is no Mudaf ilayhi, so we bring Tanwin. Had it been only Mudaf, had it been Mudaf, Mudaf ilayhi, there would not be any Tanwin. But now it comes as a number only on its own, so we can give tanween. So that is why you have salasatun. But in pronunciation, we will say salasa. Huh? Salasa. Arba'a. Huh? Okay? So let us count three times this, my brothers and sisters. Ready? Wahid, you will say wahid. Isnani. Salasa. Arba, Arba, Khamsa, Khamsa Sitta, Sitta Saba, Saba, Samania, Tesa, Ashara. Huh? Now together, inshallah, we'll say. We will practice if, for the next two, three days. We'll keep this on the side. And just like our normal drill, we will practice this. Ready, brothers and sisters? Wahid. Islani, Salasa, Arba, Khamsa, Sitta, Saba, Samania, Tesa, Ashara. Okay, one more time. Wahid, Islani, Salasa, Arba, Khamsa, Sitta, Saba, Samania, Tesa, Ashara. Got the idea, brother and sister? Inshallah. Okay. Now, if I were to count from 3 to 10, only books, how will I do, brother and sister? Let's count. Salasatu kutubin, arbaatu kutubin, khamsatu kutubin, sittatu kutubin, sabaatu kutubin, Samaniyatu kutubin, tesatu kutubin, asharatu kutubin. Got the idea? Let's count pens now. Let's start from number one, huh, brothers and sisters. Ready? Kalamun wahidun, kalamani isnani, salasatu aklamin, arbaatu aklamin, khamsatu. Aklamin, 
Sittatu akhlamin Sabatu akhlamin Samaniyatu akhlamin Tisatu akhlamin Asharatu akhlamin Now we count students, but from one Talibun wahidun Taliban ithnani Salasatu tullabin Arbaatu tullabin Hamsatu tullabin Sittatu tullabin Sabatu tullabin Samaniyatu tullabin Tisatu tullabin Asharatu tullabin Got the idea? Inshallah? Huh? Okay, very good brothers and sisters. Now we go to our main lesson. Al-Mudiru. Kam taliban jadidan fi faslika ya shaykhu. Brother, what is taliban? Tamiz. Mashallah, we'll remember. Huh? Always singular. Mansu, indefinite. That is our tamiz. What is jadidan? Not. So how will you translate this? How many new students in your class? O oh, Sheikh. O oh, Sheikh. How many students are there in your class? We will say how many students are there in your class. Okay? What is the answer? Fihi. Huh? Fihi. What is Fihi, brothers and sisters? Chahar yeah. Majru. So Shibu Jumla came uh, in the beginning as a Khabar. Okay, brother, if, the, if I got my Khabar, then where is the Muptada? Asharatu only. Huh? Asharatu is your Muptada. Wahua Mudaf. And then Tullabin Mudafilihi. And do you see Jududin? It matches Tullabin in number and in gender and in, in uh, construction of uh, indefinite. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So Jududin is the Naat. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Mudir says, Min aynahum. Min aynahum. Where are they from? Akulluhum. Min baladin. Wahidin. If I remove a ah, brother and sisters from there, then the sentence is Kulluhum Min baladin. Wahidin. So what is Kullu? Kull Mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. And whom? Mudafili. Kullu will most of the time come as a mudaf. Huh? Remember? Allahu ala kulli shay'in. Huh? Kulli shay'in. Okay? Qadirun. Okay? So kulluhum is your, kullu is your mubtada wa huwa mudaf. And whom mudaf lehi? Min harjar baladin isam majroor. Char majroor, shibu jumla, khabar. And what is wahidin? Naat. See? Huh? Baladun wahidun. Baladin wahidin. Naat has to follow the manut. Okay? MashaAllah. La. Hum min biladin muhtalifatin. Brothers and sisters, what is hum? Muhtada. And where is our khabar? Min biladin. Jahar majur, shibu jumla khabar. Din muhtalifatin. See? Naat manut. Min hum. Now, brothers and sisters, this is your jahar majur, shibu jumla khabar. Min hum. Salasatu is your mubtida. Are you with me? Salasatu tullabin. So look at now the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim's explanation. He will bring all these numbers in front of us. Salasatu tullabin. So he is making us count now. Three students, millas, 
Filipini, from Philippines. Wa arba'atu tulabin. See? Salasatu tulabin. Now, arba'atu tulabin. Min al-yabani. Are you with me? Wa talibani. No, he did not say talibani is nani. Because talibani conveys the meaning of two, so it is not necessary to use this nani. And if you used, if you use this nani, then it is for emphasis. But it is coming as a nath then. But talibani minasini and two students from China. But talibun wahidun nath manut talibun wahidun min Malaysia. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Afi faslika tullabun min America? Are there in your classroom students from America? Naam fihi jar majru shibu jumla khabar. Sabatu Mubtada Mudaf and then Tullabin Mudaf ilayhi. Min America, of course, Jar Majroor. So Sabatu Tullabin Min America. There are nine students from America. Ahum Jududun. Are they new? La Hum Kudama. So, Kudama is a plural of Kadimun. Kadimun, plural is Kudama. Okay, MashaAllah. Kam Taliban, Taliban, brother and sister, Tamiz. Huh? Because I am going to repeat this and you will, inshallah, become expert. Kam Taliban, Fihi, in the classroom, min Urubba, Urubba, in, from Europe. فيه خمسة طلاب من إنكلترا from England وثمانية طلاب now you see فيه came brothers and sisters so where is our مبتدأ خمسة ها وهو مضاف and then مضاف إليه then أطاف came so what is ثمانية موتوفون على خمسة so everything will be موتوفون على Khamsatu. Wa ataf came sittatu mautufun ala khamsa. Tullabin, okay, min faransa. Wa tisatu tullabin min Yugoslavia. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Al-Mudir. Shukran. Ya Shaykhu. Shukran. What is shukran, brothers and sisters? It is Mansu. Why it is Mansu? Because it is Mafa'ulun Mutlakun. Mafa'ulun Mutlakun. I am only writing, not explaining you. Every time Mafa'ulun Mutlak will come, I will write. Huh? So that you know there is something called Mafa'ulun Mutlak. What is it? We will study, inshallah. Huh? Just write it down, brother. I have observed, brothers and sisters, that many students, you know, can identify it is mafulun mutlaq. The only thing is that why, how, we don't know yet, but we will study. So if you say jaidan, aidan, jaidan can be not, but aidan, eh? aidan, you say all the time, Aidan, also, this is also Mafulun Mutlaq. Jaidan can come as a Naat. Huh? Okay. And also there is something else, brothers and sisters. If you say Shukran, your answer is Afwan. So Afwan is also Mafulun Mutlaq. Then we will study. What is the English of Mafulun Mutlaq?
absolute object. Absolute object. Huh? We are not studying it. Just I want you to make a note of it so that later on, inshallah, when we come to study it, it will become easy, inshallah. So, you got the idea, brothers and sisters? Hmm? Now we come to next page, 106. Ikra waktu. Now this we understood, brother. Salasatu, what is salasatu? Al-adadu. It is the number. Huh? And it is mudaf. And what is tulabin? Al-madud. The thing counted. And it is jama. And it is mudaf ilahi. And it is plural. Then, if the Madud is mudakkar, the adhad becomes mu'annas. We have to remember, brother. Ready? Salasatu tullabin, arbaatu tullabin, khamsatu tullabin, sittatu tullabin, sabatu tullabin, thamaniyatu tullabin, tis'atu tullabin, ashratu tullabin. MashaAllah. Now, brothers and sisters, we read Ikra Waktub. Uh, if you have old book, there are no vowel signs. If you have new books, the vowel signs are there. Okay, but new books are meant for school children because uh, they have so much to study English, history, science, math, and everything. So, this time, uh, the books were specially uh, formulated for them with vowel signs and pictures and everything. If you are comfortable with that new book, you can use the new book too, brothers and sisters. Ikra waktu. What is the first word, brother? Hindi. What is Hindi? Zarf and mudafile. So it cannot be muftada. Uh, I don't see any verb. So it is jumla ismiya. Huh? Okay, so where is our muftada? Khamsa tu. Khamsa tu. And then kutubin. Wa salatatu. Akla min. Got the idea? How will you translate? I have five books and three pens. Okay, so khamsa tu is your muftada. Wa huwa mudaf. And kutubin. Mudafilai, and then Ataf came, and what is Salasatu? Matufun ala Khamsatu. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Now, here again, brother, you should be ready. Khabar, huh? in our simplest way, we said, comes in five kinds. What is the first kind? It is Mufrat. One word. When it is one word, it is always marfu. Then it can come as a jar majrur shibu jumla. Then it can come as a zarf huh, plus mudafilahi. When you say zarf, it is a shibu jumla again. Huh? Zarf is a shibu jumla. And then we can say it can come as a jumla failure. Huh? It can come as a jumla failure. Muhammadun zahaba ilal masjid. Aminatu zahabat ilal masjid. Are you with me? So then, Muhammad will become our muqtada and zahaba ilal masjid, jumla failure, came as a khabar. No, I'm not writing on board because we have done it so many times. So then, jumla failure will have fiel and file. But the whole jumla will come as a khabar. And then we studied that a whole jumla ismiya can also come as a khabar. Huh? So this is something most of the students always found little difficult to digest. But we will try and, and inshallah simplify it even further. So here is a sentence, brother. Khalidun. Are you with me? Put a line after it. And forget it. Huh? Forget it now. 
There is no such thing as Khalidun. Forget it. Okay. Now what is the sentence? Lahu Setatu Abnaim. So what is Lahu? Jar Majroor Shibbu Jumla Khabar. Okay. So where is Muftada? Setatu. Wahua Mudaf. And then Abnaim. Abna in huh? Tanween proper. That is your mudafilei. So what is the sentence to say? Lahu sittatu abna in. How will you translate Sister Salma? Lahu has six children. Got the idea? Is it a complete sentence? Now let us call back Khalid. Bring the Khalid back. So what are we saying? Khalid, Muftada. What is the news? He has six children. So he has six children is a complete sentence came as a khabar for Khalid. Got the idea? Is it clear, brothers and sisters? This is the most simple way of you know understanding and explaining. So whenever Jumla Ismiya will come as a khabar, brothers and sisters, I will ask you to circle it with pen, pencil. Huh? The whole jumla, you should circle it with pencil. And Khalid, leave him alone with a line, separate him. Huh? So you see Khalid, Mubtada, leave it aside. Okay, now we have a jumla. What is that jumla? Lahu, Sittatu Abnaim. He, here is Mubtada and Khabar in the sentence. Sahi. Now, this sentence is connected to something, and that is Khalid, and that is our Muftada. Huh? So this sentence now is our Jumla Ismiya coming as a Khabar. Huh? Is it clear, inshallah? Huh? It, it will become, whenever there are sentences, we will point it out, inshallah. And then we are going to bring sentences from Quran to show you, inshallah. Tam Akhan Laka. Ya Amina. No, remember, if you are asked Laka, your answer will be Li. Huh? In Daka, your answer will be Hindi. Huh? This is also easy, inshallah. Kam akhan Laka Ya Amina. What is our answer? Li. What is Li? Jar, Majru, Shibu, Jumla, Khabar. Huh? Where is our Muftada? Arbaatu. Wahua, Mudaf. And Ikhwa, Ten, huh? ten, huh? dun dan, den, ten, which is majroor, huh? okay, mudaf ilayhi. Fil usbo'i, in the week, so what is fi? Harf shar, usbo'i, isam majroor, so it is jar majroor, shubu jumla, khabar. Fil usbo'i, sabatu ayyamin. Sabatu ayyamin. There are seven days. Sabatu is your Muptada wa huwa mudaf. And ayyamin is your mudaf ilayhi. Very good, brother. Kam riyalan indaka al ya ammar. How many riyals do you have now? What is the answer? Indi. So what is indi? Inda is your zarf. Uh, and then, Ya Mutakallim, Mudaf Ilehi. Got the idea? See, Hindi is Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Hindi, Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Okay? And then, do not say Mudaf. When the Zarf is there, please don't say Mudaf. Uh, but the noun which is following Zarf is Mudaf Ilehi. Sahi? What is Al-Ana Badahasan? What is Al-Ana? Also Zarf. Huh? Zarfu Zaman. Huh? Edward of time. What was in the Edward of place. Makan. Uh, okay? Fine, brothers and sisters. In the Al-Ana Samaniyatu huh? Samaniyatu Riyalatin Riyalatin Riyalatin. Okay. So, here, 
Yes, my love, the sun. Maybe it's dark, uh, Alan. 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 Yes. No, there are certain zarf like Al-Ana and Amsi and Huna, Hunaka, they will not have Mudafili. Okay. If there is a Mudafili, then only, uh, I mean, we will say Mudafili after zarf. Not, it's not, a general, uh, not a general rule, brother. Okay. But most of the time you will see. Okay, brother? We go to the next sentence. Fi hazal hayyi. Fi hazal hayyi. Hayyi is your neighborhood. Huh? Okay. Or suburb. What is fi? Haza. Haza ism majur. Ismu ishara. Huh? Ism majrur. Huh? It is ism majrur. Huh? Haza here is majrur because of fi. Huh? We, we know haza is mabni, doesn't have different vowel signs, but when fi came, now haza is uh, majrur. Why? Fi came. Harf jar is a majrur. Okay. And then what is al hayyi? Badal. Huh? Al badal al hayyi. Very good. Where is our. No, this is fi haza is jar majrur shibu jumla khabar. And what is this Atu's sister Hafsa? Muptada. It is what is it? Muptada. Wahua mudaf. And then Buyutin mudafilehi. And then what is Jadida tin? Na. Why Jadida tin, brother? Buyut is a jama and Jadida tin is singular. Why? And it is monas. What is happening here? Kullu jama monas. We treat all those uh, uh, plurals which are most of the time of things and which are most of the time broken. Broken plurals, uh, they are treated as a singular feminine. That is why the Nath came as a Jadida Tin. In other words, we considered Buyu Tin as a plural. It is plural, but we considered it as a Moana singular. Huh? Are you with me? You didn't get it? What is buyutin? Plural. Okay. But then this is a plural of gairakil. And also it is broken. Okay. So what do we do in Arabic? We consider that plural to be <coughs> a singular mu'annas. What do we consider? What is the, our magic sentence? Kulu jama'in, mu'annas. All jama'as are mu'annas. So if that buyutin we treat it as mu'annas, so the nath has to be mu'annas. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Did you get it? Huh? Inshallah. We will repeat and watch for it. When you see a plural and then the followed by a nath, which is singular and it is mu'annas, we watch for it to understand the treatment of the plurals in Arabic language, brothers and sisters.